Good afternoon, friends. My name is Sumit Panda. I have secured All India Rank 251 this time in Civil Services Exam 2017. And I am here to share with you my strategy as well as some of the insights into this exam, what this exam is all about. So, as we all know, there are three aspects to this exam the prelims, the mains, and the interview. So, let us look at each and every aspect of this exam because, as you have seen from the prelims this year, even that stage is as important. Although it does not add up in your final score, it is there to eliminate you. So, just you have to give it the respect that it deserves. So, of course, the exam is all about the mains. The focus and the primary focus of this exam is mains. Interview is the icing on the cake, but the elimination stage is prelims. So, first we we'll look at the prelims and what exactly UPSC wants out of you in this prelims. If you go by the paper this year, the most important aspect of this prelims is it is first of all trying to eliminate. It is trying to eliminate most of the non-serious candidates. But then again, many serious candidates also face lot of challenges in this prelims. So, what exactly is the UPSC looking out of it? See, one thing we can see out of this prelims is UPSC is discouraging the whole uh, you know culture of these uh, monthly magazines or these 365 or you know uh, that kind of second hand information. So, most importantly UPSC wants out of you some kind of in depth knowledge like I have said here yeah, knowledge is very important. So, in depth knowledge is important. What is knowledge? Knowledge is processing of information. You get a lot of information in uh, in this uh, you know from the markets for this exam. Now, what do you do with the information? You just keep marking up more and more facts, details, data that is all there it is it's important it is anyways required for prelims, but then you have to have some kind of organic linking. You have to have this in depth knowledge what it will help in not just clearing the prelims, but at least making sure that you have a fail safe approach. So, what is important for prelims is to be above the cutoff and not be uncertain in a circumspect or speculative way right after prelims which will which will have a, a impact on your preparation for the mains which is the most important phase of this whole preparation. So, for prelims you need knowledge very important and second is decision making. What see in the prelims itself they are looking for administrators in the sense they are looking for decision makers because if you see most of the questions in the prelims this year many in fact many you probably do not have the information you may not have information for more than one or two um, you know sub points in the questions, but what then you have to do you have to improve your elimination skills you have to improve your decision making even when there are two options which are very close uh, be it all those philosophical questions like laws and liberty or anything for that matter. Uh, last year in fact in 2017 prelims there were many questions on you know on the philosophical ba basis this time it was more related to uh, you know various aspects of uh, you know the history questions were quite tough, but uh, then again there were questions of international relations as well as uh, you know geography latitude longitude question. So, there were many questions where you have to have some kind of in depth knowledge in that and then you have to have the elimination skills for elimination skills you have to practice practice test series that you can join any particular test series or you can get a variety of test series, but do practice and while practicing try and learn the tricks how to eliminate because many test series they have questions which are sometimes out of syllabus. In fact, be happy if the questions are out of syllabus because there is no syllabus. Now, I would like to come to the syllabus of prelims. Prelims has a very broad outline. It does not have a defined syllabus like it is there in mains. So, what you can see is the broad outline in within which UPC can ask anything. This time everyone was uh, I mean uh, on the lines of 2017 everyone was expecting more questions on government schemes suddenly there was a dip in that. So, these things will happen in prelims there is no such defined you know uh, thing in the syllabus that ok this is important or this is not important. Many of the questions in environment are exhausted. So, they are asking bodies which are you know unheard of which are somewhere given in on some page. So, those things probably you may not be able to find out every time or you may not be able to read also while preparing that is ok, but still you have to ensure that you have a fail safe approach in the sense 
prepare all the subjects uh, regarding prelims so it cannot be just you know giving putting focus on one or the other but at the same time remember there is a baseline there are questions which are also simple which are easy so there you cannot have a uh, you cannot create a blunder there you cannot do mistakes there those questions are somewhere others are doing correctly so you have to remember keep that in mind now this is how you should go about in prelims prelims is actually a very tricky and dicey uh, i mean phase of this exam so you have to make sure that you are somewhere not languishing you are above that you know uh, above the race there so this is what you should do for prelims now coming to the mains which is the most important part of this exam and this is where all your focus should lie in fact irrespective of how you've done in prelims this year or how you're going to do in prelims in the subsequent in the coming years you have to focus on mains you have to start in fact practicing and you have to start thinking about the mains right from the uh, you know right from any moment any moment is the right moment to start. so don't wait for the right moment you can just start any time anywhere you are so for mains now you have to here there is a defined syllabus for essay for gs1 2 3 4 and for the optional papers uh, for your respective optionals for essay what you can do is you can think of you can practice so most importantly what you do for essay is you start you join some test series you start writing essays you pick up topics or you pick up topics from online you find topics in in across many websites you can take up those topics you start writing essay you show it to your uh, maybe parents your friends or uh, or some uh, you know uh, tutor anyone so you do that for essay you start writing there's no other option because that thinking and specially strategizing for essay that needs to be done at your home so that you don't waste much time in the exam hall remember essay is one paper unlike the gs papers you you get that advantage of 20 30 marks so that is very important I, in my two mains attempts that is 2016 and 2017 i scored 156 in 2016 i scored 151 in 2017 so my take away from this is if you have this kind of one is flair for writing essays and secondly a good writing practice that helps in essays because your frame uh, framework and your line of thinking is already set and the topics are not too many if you just jot down and if you just narrow it down you can see other toppers discussing about it the topics are a few it can be education it can be health it can be women empowerment it can be environment it can be science and technology it can be international relations like nam this year and it can be on topics like uh, you know social media this year or philosophical questions i generally tend to avoid the philosophical questions because then you have to start thinking on across many lines in fact it is a two way i mean street there if you if you really do well you might get that incremental advantage in essay if you do really good if you have a really good bent of mind towards philosophical essays but my preference is topical essays because there's hardly anything where you can go wrong because if you know about that topic and you have this interlinking and a flow and you know how to write essay you can do well in essay that's there's not a problem and most importantly for essay you have to give that 20 to 25 minutes maybe half an hour for making the strategy this strategy is the most important aspect of essay and then you start writing your essay your writing time won't be more than an hour so remember that and you have to give equal importance to both the essays you cannot exceed time for the first essay which you know cuts down your time for the second essay even if you do you should make sure that second essay is one topic where you are actually comfortable with so that you don't waste time otherwise that hampers your you know essay writing in the second one so this is your uh, this is the thing about essay now let's look at gs 1 2 3 4 4 gs 1 2 3 are three subjects where you can have this organic link because there are no particular questions which are exclusive yes there are subjects which are there history is there geography society for the first gs 1 there's polity there there's constitution there's governance there's international relations for gs 2 there's economics there's disaster management there's internal security there's uh, you know these topics for gs 3 for agriculture etc for gs 3 but then again they all have interlinkages like a question on urban flood 
which is come in both GS1 and GS3 like a question on provisions in the constitution for scheduled tribes which is come in GS1 being a uh, GS2 topic. So these kind of interlinkages help because it is all organic just do not put them in silos you have to bring them all together so that you understand what exactly this uh, essay is uh, I am sorry what exactly the subject is all about. It is, it is about interlinking, it is about organizing things and it is about answer writing. Most important aspect of this is answer writing in, which is the most important thing for all for essay for GS I had joined answer writing or test series for essay for GS and for optional. It is important even if you may not be able to finish all your tests do not put that pressure on yourself try to do as many as you can see that your scores are improving that is very important any test series join any test series and make sure they give proper feedback if they are not giving proper feedback there is a problem that means you are not learning anything out of it you are just writing tests no that is not the purpose answer writing some people ask whether we should write every day that depends from person to person that is not the most important thing yes you can write every day but most important is writing under the pressure of three hours that is important it is not about writing that one question in half an hour making the best answer no remember most of your answers the incremental advantage for the best answer is hardly half a mark or one mark but if you write average above average answers across you are at an advantage over others who are not writing or finishing the paper so remember that. So most important here is answer writing for that any test series essay of course for GS as well you can write both full length you can write sectional tests it depends on but make sure at least four papers you write full length and make sure you write them in a way which is like the uh, you know main exam. So in that sense you write back to back papers instead of writing one paper giving it a day or two and then writing the other paper start building up that practice of writing back to back papers. So in this now I would like to talk about GS4 ethics because this is one paper yes the marks varies and it act again it does not depend on your knowledge it depends on your aptitude most importantly your aptitude and your decision making. So in ethics what what kind of strategy you can follow for ethics you see this year they I mean the last uh, 2017 they slashed all the marks in ethics. So I mean that can happen any particular year but still you have to have your basics right. Basics in the sense prepare your own models stop reading many books and all maybe one or two books book list you will get uh, uh, lexicon is probably a good book for ethics. But yeah most importantly start looking at start looking at the syllabus and for every sub point of the syllabus start making your own notes from wherever you can from online from any source and then at the same time learn something about philosophers like I had Paul signs as my optional. So I knew about philosophers but many people have problems with philosophers that is ok you just need to have a working knowledge you do not need to have. Uh, you know too much in depth knowledge about any philosopher you just have to know ok this is the basic line of thinking that they had it will add to your answer that is uh, from year to year it depends but remember even in the 10 markers of ethics even if they ask philosophers those are applied questions. So mostly it will all boil down to again decision making again your aptitude again scenarios developing scenarios this is one more important aspect of ethics developing scenarios examples are important. So this is what is important for ethics. So writing practice again helps because you start thinking faster for ethics is one lengthy paper and you have seen it throughout every year ethics has been lengthy. So there is no exception to that. So remember and just start writing ethics answers and you can pick up any you can pick up case studies as well and start a line of thinking you can have your own unique line of thinking you need not follow anyone's practice you know many people say you start with all that ethical dilemmas then um, stakeholders involved options involved it is ok you can have your own unique way it does not matter from person to person it can depend so keep devising that and keep improvising in ethics and especially the case studies which is very important part of ethics. Optional of course we will op discuss optional in another video. Now let us come to the third stage which is interview. Interview in interview the most important aspect is DAF and this DAF is something which is you 
it reflects everything about you and this is the only document that they have in front of them so remember that do not bluff in your daft you have to be you have to showcase yourself this is what you're doing right this is like a personality test this is a test of your individuality so this is what is required you have to own the daft you have to make sure that each and every hobby that you write on your daft you actually practice it somewhere maybe you may not have all the information regarding that hobby it's okay but you have to have the working knowledge how it works for you you have to at least defend yourself in that so because questions these are the questions where the, i mean these are the points from which the questions will stem so this is what you have to remember you have to remember most of the questions of your interview will be mostly from your daf so this daf you have to own it secondly what they are looking for they are looking for your qualities like administrative qualities your on the spot thinking your uh, acknowledging of your limitations your your ability to give respect to many aspects to uh, to the interviewer to yourself to uh, the country everything so what is required in this stage is you have to have these things one is owning your daf one is on the spot thinking one is bringing out your personality do not shy away bring out your personality whatever it is you know in whichever manner in whichever language you are comfortable in fact in interviews you people give hindi medium give any other medium whichever language you are comfortable bring out your personality do not be stuck up right so this is what they are looking for they are looking for they want to know you how you are you know a cut above the rest so basically they are differentiating you from others so your background doesn't matter your education levels your scores they do not matter and they do not know your main scores so that's why you see many people who have got maybe not very high marks in written they get very good scores in interview and they may uh, they make it so this thing is very this aspect of this exam is not just an icing on the cake it is very important for even getting you the choice of service the choice of rank that you want range of rank so this is what is important in the third stage now remember all three stages are important in this exam but the most important is mains this is where everything matters because this is this carries the highest weightage interview is important of course for your final rank for your service of your choice but mains is the focus so start preparing even for prelims on the mains perspective start thinking of things from the long term view you know how to write answers how to think of it in a manner which kind of cross links other topics as well and then before the prelims you can modify your preparation you can go into details you can go into certain facts data but in fact remember in the same sense those facts data can even accentuate your performance in the mains you can always add those details data wherever needed in your mains but mains is a little more holistic than that mains has a little more in depth and analytical bent than your prelims prelims is of course your logical reasoning and your decision making mains is a lot about being prepared being there for the exam you know as if yes i am going to write the best answer to the best of my potential that is mains and interview you have to go with a clear mind you have to know that yes i can make it i have made it so far i can still make it i can do better i can i can i can i can be myself i can show them yes what i am made of so this is interview for you and these are the three stages of this exam and this is how you must go about it with a very positive frame of mind at the same time i must tell you this try to cut down on your distractions a lot of people have lots of distractions be it social media be it hanging out with friends and everything just remember this is a phase where you are actually devoting time for yourself of course your end game is your end i mean uh, your motive is to become an officer and serve the nation and serve the society do work for the people but at the same time you're doing something for yourself you're making sure that each and every day you're making yourself better you're refining yourself so give that time to yourself do not get into any distractions cut down your distractions and be focused in your preparation very focused try to think of it as yes i have to make it there's in uh, in uh, in mechanical engineering we do this cut uh, remember one thing there is something called a force field analysis which uh, you know which actually i have employed that is 
you know for any particular thing you have motivating factors and you have inhibiting factors so you kind of have a forced field forced field between these two so in other words you can have a reason or you can have an excuse either you have a reason to do something or you have an excuse not to do it my take away is that or my approach was that rather i i eliminated all excuses for not doing this i had only and only reasons so for me i had to make it because i had to this all my reasons were pointing towards it so all my factors were motivating factors there were hardly any inhibiting factors this is something i would like to say you know you can incorporate you can think about it and you can you can just start you know changing your whole line of thinking in the sense yes of course it's another career option you don't think of it as be all and end all but at the same time you give it the necessary you know the respect that it deserves you give it the attention the focus that it deserves and this is how you you got to crack it because this is there is no other way if all your energies are focused into this something's got to give right so remember this part and uh, this is my uh, this is my contribution yeah i i i cut kar lena so with this i would like to conclude my uh, presentation here uh, and i would wish you all the best in your preparation in your in your pursuit and uh, i would like to see you in the services thank you